Now, if you're cleaning up the outside of your pot with a rib or a, or a credit card or anything, I use a credit card, it's probably more like a of a hand. You've got to have your credit card at 90 degrees to the work. If you put it like that, the chances are it does get it smooth, but as soon as it starts dry, drying out, it grabs the, the card and it will put it round. So you need to try and keep an edge, the edge on the, the side of the vessel. And these loyalty cards and old bank cards are, are really useful ceramics tools. I used to have someone worked in um, Next while she was a student, she used to bring packets, because once they finished with them, they just give them to the cashier, don't they? She used to bring big old wadges of them in. And that's it there. So I'm going to show you the other way of taking it off now. Uh, could you pass me a small bat, Gwenan? Just a little square piece of wood. That'll be fine, yeah. So these, these wheels are really useful because the tray sits in half. So what we're going to do this way, and you might find this easier, is we've got the water underneath first, and then we slide it, do it a couple of times, and you can see that it slides onto the meniscus of the water. And if I put some water on that, and then slide that onto there like that. There is one more even easier way. I don't know if any of you have purchased a hot air gun. Get a hot air gun, dry it off until you can touch it, wire it off, pick it up and put the bottom on the side. Can you throw it already on the bat? Wasn't you can throw it on the bat, so a domestic wear potter would make all their work on the bat and then they just have to take the bat off. Um, but at the moment you might as well throw on the wheel head. Mm -hmm. um, I, I rarely use a bat in any of my work because I'm not a domestic wear. Potter. And what you're looking for is nice even throw. Go see how good I was at throwing now. Not too bad. So you're always going to get, it's going to be slightly thicker at the top and you want nice even walls all the way up the side of the pot if you can, with a nice amount of base. Because once you've made these pots, hopefully next week, not next week, when is it going to be? 10th of November, which is quite some time away. Um, I'll show you how to then do the next part of the process, which is turning, but you need some, some uh, vessels to do that. If you're really struggling this afternoon just to do the centering, I'll happily send you a lump of clay really quickly because you actually learn quite a lot um, just by going through the process. And if you're spending ages and ages just trying to learn to centre, that's sort of something that you can, you can do in your own sort of time. And that's how to throw a pop. That's very easy. It, <laughs> it is. <laughs>